Yes, so actually starting now we'll have to remain weather aware. We're looking at a decent line of showers to storms are currently moving through Kenbridge and as well as through South Hill, but this is just issued. It's a tornado watch for areas north of us. So we aren't included in this tornado watch. However, our tornado threat for today is not a zero. We're sitting on a low threat for experiencing a brief tornado possible as we're sitting on a marginal threat for severe weather. The slight risk remains to the north of us, and that's where you have that tornado watch until 8 o'clock tonight. What we're currently dealing with right now is just this one line of heavy action. Uh, actually, now it's just since moved to the east of Kenbridge. So we're looking at a decent amount of rainfall extending really from a Amelia teeny down towards Blackstone into Alberta. We'll continue to look at this line moving in a northeasterly fashion, entering the metro within the, the next couple of minutes, clipping in portions of the southern side of Chesterfield and then moving into uh, the direct Richmond metro area. One thing uh, we also have to be concerned about is the threat of seeing flash flooding that we've dealt with really the past couple of days. We have that flash flood watch issued until 8 o'clock and includes the Richmond Metro and in areas north as well as northwest of the Metro as we're going to be experiencing the remnants of Fred throughout the day today. Now as far as your temperatures, it's still going to remain warm and muggy. We're dealing with the remnants of a tropical system, so high temperatures stay around the mid 80s for this afternoon. But with that humidity factor, that's where we see those heavy downpours and that's what we'll be experiencing